Right, so this last talk is indeed uh, about uh, uh, a collaborative, collaborative development, but not of um, a software, but of a, a lesson. So uh, at the eScience Center, a part of these uh, collaborative uh, uh, projects, uh, we also do some training activities. So we organize uh, uh, workshops on uh, various topics that goes from, uh, um, uh, you know, um, uh, so good uh, software development practices, uh, to parallel programming with Python, to GPU computing. And, and in this context, um, so of these workshops that we organized, we have developed this, uh, this lesson, um, the title of which is Introduction to Geospatial uh, Raster and Vector Data with Python. So those are the people that were involved. Um, so we actually, from the eScience Center, we haven't e initiated the lesson ourselves. Um, Ryan Avery, from based in the US, uh, working at Development Seed, is the uh, original developer of the lesson and also a current maintainer. Um, we have joined him in the development of this lesson uh, from the beginning of this year. And these are um, mainly uh, uh, the, the main people that work uh, on this uh, uh, from the center. So uh, quite a few engineers and uh, our training program lead, Mateusz uh, Kuzak, uh, also um, facilitated a lot of, of the work. So um, this lesson is not developed in um, sort of isolation, but it's part of a, a data carpentry uh, a program. So this is one of the programs for the carpentries. So the carpentries is a, um, a non-profit organization that aims at teaching uh, digital skills and uh, um, um, data analysis uh, skills um, to researchers uh, worldwide. So it's a global organization. And this lesson is part of the Carpentries Incubator program. So it's the place where lessons are uh, started. And uh, so you know, one discussed like uh, interest in a topic and then uh, the lesson is developed until it gets until a, to a mature uh, stage. Um, so following the Carpentries um, philosophy so pedagogic, pedagogical um, um, structure. Uh, this lesson uh, aims to be very hands-on. Um, it, it aims to be taught as a, a co in a code-along uh, format with uh, uh, focusing on specific tools and specific problems. So it doesn't aim to be an um, uh, um, overview of uh, or a comprehensive overview of uh, all the uh, tools or all the um, programs that can be used to solve a particular task, but just offer um, uh, uh, yeah, specific tools to specific problems. Um, historically, it's been forked from the R-based geospatial curriculum, which is uh, uh, in a more mature uh, stage. So uh, also heard before, um, th there are a lot of uh, 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 users, R users in, in, in the community. So there is a lesson uh, also in based on R. Uh, but the, the objective of this lesson is to help learners to familiarize with uh, the Python uh, geospatial ecosystem. And the target audience is uh, uh, PhD students and researchers uh, that have some exposure to Python. So no, they don't need to be expert, but it's also complete novice is also not the, uh, not the level that is uh, required. So this is the, uh, the, the content of the lesson, so the, the, the curriculum. So it, it starts with few uh, uh, general episodes on the, the introduce uh, uh, geospatial uh, concepts so what is a raster what's a vector um, that can be condensed in a in a in a, in a short presentation if that's is not um, uh, really needed for the for the audience uh, but then it dives immediately into um, uh, the hands-on part which starts from accessing some satellite images um, open uh, images of course um, out and then it show, the, the, the lesson goes on to show how to read and visualize this type of raster data, uh, how to uh, handle vector data, and uh, uh, how to perform some data manipulations to um, uh, cross and to use together vector and raster data and to how to perform calculations with this type of data sets. And, and it finishes with some hints to how to perform parallel um, raster computations. Uh, the technologies that are uh, discussed or tools, they are showed on the, on the right side. So for the, um, uh, uh, for the data access uh, uh, and data uh, organization part, metadata organization part, um, we use a lot of the tools from the spatial temporal asset catalog uh, 
um, ecosystem, so stack, um, for uh, dealing with the uh, uh, raster data, we uh, use X-Array, and in particular the uh, GDAL or raster IO derived uh, um, Im implementation uh, RIO X-Array. Um, GeoPandas for um, vector data, and uh, we use also use X-Array Spatial um, for s uh, some of the uh, raster uh, calculations, and for what concerns the parallel uh, uh, implementations, we, uh, we mentioned the use of task. Uh, again, so the, the lesson doesn't aim at giving like a full overview of all the tools that, that can be used with comparison and pros and cons of, uh, of uh, all of them, but it tries to uh, provide a um, um, robust set of, uh, uh, of, of programs that uh, learners can pick up and immediately apply uh, in their everyday um, uh, research. So that's the goal. Um, so the data sets that we employ in the in, in the lesson are it's I, I mentioned earlier a, a mixture of uh, raster and vector data. So for the raster we use uh, optical satellite images uh, from the Sentinel-2 mission, um, and for the vector data we use uh, 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 some public uh, geo data sets from the Dutch uh, government uh, or from other public institutions, uh, all accessible from um, uh, from the PDOC uh, portal. So this is like a snapshot of uh, some of the figures that are um, uh, uh, produced like uh, um, uh, during the lesson. Um, so a bit at a higher level on, on the development. So for developing a lesson, uh, the user community actually consists of uh, two groups. So you have um, uh, both the people that will teach the, the, the lesson, so the instructors, and these, um, in these cases, uh, well, in general, carpentries, uh, uh, instructors, but it can be any uh, researchers or technical staff or support staff at uh, university that, that has some interest in uh, in uh, training uh, um, uh, uh, in on the usage of Python to, to perform geospatial um, data analytics. And the learners, um, I said it earlier, it's like student, PhD students, researchers with some earth or space science uh, background, um, uh, novice to middle um, level of, 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 of Python. Um, we, we think this might also work the other way around. So um, uh, in the, we, we did an internal Python at the, at the eScience Center. Um, so targeting people that were more expert in Python, but they were lacking the, uh, the uh, like the geo background, the Earth observation uh, uh, background. And this was also uh, appreciated there. So we think that this might work in that direction as well. Um, uh, concerning future development plans of the of the lesson material, well, for, for the lesson in general, we are uh, looking for uh, pilots or other uh, institutions or other um, yeah, organizations um, to teach uh, uh, the lesson, to provide uh, feedback and to improve it so that we can move it from the uh, uh, beta stage in which it is now in the in the Carbatis incubator program towards a stable uh, lesson. Um, concerning the content, possible uh, future areas of, uh, of, of expansion is uh, a, a point cloud. So the, it's a topic that right now is not uh, touched at all. Uh, advanced visualization, so interactive plots and maps, and, um, and, um, and uh, big geodata, so moving more towards that, that uh, direction. Um, so this is where you can find the lesson. So in the the website above is about it's the um, rendered version of the of the lesson where one uh, yeah can also follow the material of course it's all um, uh, accessible and can be used for uh, self-learning as well um, uh, and below it's the corresponding uh, repository um, where also here we appreciate any uh, feedback and uh, uh, yeah uh, expression of interest um, so this was about the uh, lesson uh, itself. Uh, we will teach this as a workshop very soon, so next week, uh, um, from Monday to Wednesday uh, only in the mornings. Uh, it's online. Um, uh, there, there are still a few uh, places, uh, so if anybody is uh, interested or you know somebody that might be interested, um, uh, uh, please share this, uh, this information. The registration will be open until uh, uh, this evening, so until the end of uh, today. So, yeah. Um, 
And last piece of advertisement, uh, if you uh, want to know more about the uh, other workshops and other training activities um, uh, and courses that are organized by the uh, ESEN Center, you can sign up to the uh, training uh, uh, mailing list. Um, uh, with, yeah, you can do via the website esencenter.nl slash digital skills. And that's it. Yeah. Maybe uh, a comment. Uh, there are some discussions online as well. And then there's already a discussion by La U and IFAD in terms of uh, incorporating this carpentry workshop to the curriculum in APC. So perhaps, I mean, this could be coordinated somehow. Uh, yeah, just comment, <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think this is yeah. a, a very valid uh, comment. And I think we will, I hope we will have time today also to, to, to discuss this. With this, I want to thank you again. Uh,